Hey fellas, I uh, had some inquiries about the layout that I'm doing here. Uh, this is my garage, so you can see uh, there's my garage door, double car garage. Uh, I finished all the walls, everything's insulated. I did the ceiling, I did lights, uh, those are adjustable. I have them. Um, Kind of everywhere. Uh, garage is kind of a mess. Kind of looks like a kitchen over there. It has a workbench, cabinets, basic ki kitchen cabinets and closets and things like that. Uh, it's a mess. Uh, <laughs> till I really get into this uh, fully and I can organize. I want to put shelving underneath the layout to store things. Uh, from the house also in addition to trains so I have lots of space uh, it's an L shape you can see here I'm gonna have my engines in here this is what I'm working on right now is trying to get uh, baseboard and and trim board up uh, that's popular some of its popular in pine I haven't decided I'm going to stain it yet or from the color it yet. I don't know. I don't want it all one color. So, uh, there's one of my, Con that's my Conrail, uh, ABA set. Uh, that wall is going to have a rollout, uh, background to it. And I'm going to paint the walls, I think, like kind of like a pale blue color. So that's going to be one thing. Uh, there's a switch out here. It's going to come over in the, into this area. And on this side, I have another part of the layout. And I have lift out sections, which there's one here that I left out for now. And this is the other lift out section. And basically, I have these wires right here that they're plugged. So you just plug the side that goes to the right one and you got track power to the other side. Now, I did wire in these, you can see these strings. They go to the bottom then they go underneath the floor to the other side and up. And then those go to different parts of the layout uh, to power this side. So I have track power on this side, which is not a problem. Uh, I'm going to have multi levels. So my intention is to have maybe, you know, maybe an over, you know, part of it. Part of the uh, upper level might go over top of the, the primary the inner track here. So I might bridge over and have something going over top, and then it cuts over and brings it over this side. Then I want to have some kind of bridge that comes across here high enough that I can just duck under it so I don't have to put another... Uh, I don't want to have another uh, lift-out section from here to here. So I'm going to make it high enough. I can just duck under if anybody wants to. And it's not going to be that big of a deal. Uh, there's my wire. I got that at Lowe's. Big spools of uh, 14 gauge. And that's pretty much what I've been using all through the, you know, for my track power of multiple uh, lock ons. At some point, I might take those lock-ons off and just direct wire it but basically it goes to these distributions so I have the reds for the grounds and then the and then or the reds for the hots and the blacks for the grounds and that comes off the TIU and then they're distributed around uh, the layout that's just the one circuit that's just running the two outer loops I have not even uh, fathomed the uh, the entire setup yet of what I'm really doing 
as far as uh, upper levels and everything. Show you a little more of my engines. I have a Pennsylvania E8 ABA. It's a it's a five volt uh, PS2. So I'm hoping I might send that off to John <laughs> to uh, upgrade to a PS3, uh, just because I have mostly everything converted over now. Uh, This uh, SD70, that's a PS3. I converted this J. It is not a uh, J11, it's a J12. Uh, that was a PS1 converted to a PS3. This was a dead engine. I uh, converted with a uh, PS32 uh, board. That was done. This is the T... Uh, the T1 uh, duplex. I just got that not too long ago. That's PS2. Uh, that's a PS2 uh, Santa Fe. Uh, the Northern Pacific was converted to PS3. Uh, Southern Pacific there, that's a Premier. That has the openings and stuff. Uh, that was converted to PS2. And then I have two of these uh, uh, Y6Bs. Uh, the other ones apart right now, or I'd show you that one, but I have two of these. This one's PS3, the other one's a PS2. And then I have this, Shea, and John Nesterode helped uh, convert that to PS3 for me. That was a just a, a PS1 engine that I got at a really good price at a show, and I thought it was well worth uh, converting over to a PS3. So I have logging cars for that. Those are over here. I found a bunch of logging cars, so eventually I'm gonna do that too. Uh, that's pretty much my setup, uh, but I haven't even got buildings. I'm not even thinking about that yet. I just wanna get all my trackage done. That's my primary goal. And uh, I need to get my engines down below here. I need to get this all sealed up and done. So that's really what I'm working on now. Uh, like fascia boards, I'm going to do like B-board, uh, you know, to seal off everything in here. That's all going to be like nice B-board uh, panels that pull open so you can, you know, have like sliders or something like that so you can access underneath and uh, get to everything but uh, that's it guys uh, that's pretty much for now but I'll keep updating uh, as time goes on here uh, take care